So here's another bikini my mommy made. Should I get back on prep? Because it's so sparkly and so nice. <laughs> but no, no apps for now. But I might not even gonna need that. I'm happy on how I look. My mom is making some new bikinis. Add us on Facebook and you can have a look something for your good morning guys it's sunday today i'm going to the central london i'm going to be interviewed today by one of the television programs uh emigranti and they're coming here to london and i'm so 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 excited <laughs> a little bit nervous but i shouldn't say nervous i should say excited and uh, afterwards a friend of mine and i actually my colleague uh, i'll tell you why colleague in a second we're going to the beauty exhibition and I'll film bits and pieces from there as well. And another thing, I am a certified personal trainer because yesterday I've passed my exam and at the end of this week, I'm going to Lithuania. So I'm gonna film Lithuanian videos. So after this one, after this video, yeah, I'm gonna be speaking in Lithuanian language, but only for several videos for the March. Anyways, oh, it's not usual that I am dressed appropriately, like casually, not in my sportswear. I feel kind of okay today. My hair, my makeup, good. <laughs> So we've just finished filming the reportage, the interview, and we just sat down at the print. Can I? Hello. Hello. Hey, hello. you're okay. Hello. Hello. Good one, Des. Good one. Yeah. Greetings. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, everybody from Lithuania and the National Lithuanian TV channel. Yeah, guys, I'll let you know whenever the show is going to be up. We'll probably just confirm and then I'll leave it in the link below. So now I'm having my apples for a snack and we're just drinking some coffee whilst waiting for my friend and then we're gonna head to the beauty exhibition. It was a bit unexpected but I was supposed to come back to the courses to fill some paperwork. Well obviously that's a workbook. I passed my exam yesterday, the practical, but there were some bits and pieces that I needed to add into my workbook. Right, so we are here at the Poplar. Is it Poplar? Outside the Canary Wharf, as you saw, guys. Raymond and I are heading to the beauty exhibition, as I've mentioned before. EXO is huge, it's massive, guys. We, by mistake, popped into an up entrance where is exhibition for the cars. So now we're looking for a beauty exhibition, which is number one to number eight gates. Okay, here we are. We're going to start from the very beginning because this place is massive. I don't know how long it will take for us to walk around and see everything. When I was here last year, there were particular products that was quite pricey and then I ended up seeing all of those in say pound shops and so on. You see these? It smells nice, this is like butter. Yeah, this has got the rice in it inside. So you actually rub it into your hairy areas and the hair of your body is gonna come off. It's like doing the nails with the nail fin. Uh, I bought it last year and I wasn't really happy about the product. It works, but then it won't last for long. We came really, we came here really just to get more samples, but then apparently there is none because we're probably too late for that. <laughs> Three nail 
polishes. Did you see that nail art, guys, last year? Uh, I saw it here as well. No, actually, two years ago. And the price for it, I think, the box with some nail polish and those plates, it cost twenty-five pounds. But you can actually get it in the pound in the pound shop. So don't get tricked. <laughs> just that and you will find that it just tastes of orange juice and mango awesome. juice. This smell nice, yeah? It's what a month. What do you think? that actually uh, promote and sell their products that haven't been tested on animals so that's also something interesting interesting for vegan friends accidentally we went through the food section and it smells so good because it's curry <laughs> and we're so hungry and everyone's eating with the non breads and everything looks so good and I we've been discussing that it must be really difficult to advertise your product whereas there are so many same products in here uh, so many stuff that I've got at home there is here as well hello hi <laughs> yeah and anyways if you're a beautician so this exhibition is definitely for you but if you're not you can get some ideas obviously but we were here just for free samples we didn't get any so it will last for a year. I think yeah. well, there's enough for six treatments. Yeah. So if you have your treatment here, depending on your lifestyle, if you drink red wine or smoke or yeah. whatever, then obviously that will have a difference. <laughs> Wave hello! Whoa, hi there! <laughs> well, we've got a sample. A tiny chocolate. <laughs> a tiny piece of chocolate. <laughs> not even sure if that's a dark chocolate because this is milk chocolate. Not allow that. Raymonda, she's on prep, she's on prep, but I'm on a short kind of a cut just before my holiday. Luckily, that's dark chocolate and that's mint dark chocolate. So yeah. Okay, the first samples. <laughs> Some professional eyelash and eyebrow tint. Okay. What's next? Well, have you got for us? <laughs> Would you mind? <laughs> so we stopped to have our snack. My snack today is my protein raspberry oat and whey flapjack. And Raymond is having some cottage cheese, yeah? With the English version of the Indian version. It's so funny guys, Raymond and I, we're just walking around the different coffee shops and just looking at the food. And we're like, that's more interesting than the actual beauty exhibition. So, oh, they might have some kombucha. No, they don't. Oh, sweet potatoes. So posh, so yummy. We just had our snack and, well, I hope someone understands us when, whenever you're finishing your meal and then you feel hungry straight away. So that's exactly what's going on in our life now. home so then I can just take a walk because the evening is quite okay at least it's not raining it's not sunny but it's fine so I'm just I'm just gonna have a little walk even though my feet are aching <laughs> because of the boots um, but I ended up buying nothing actually in that exhibition I've only got some eyebrow tin sample which I'm quite excited about if only wind would be a human I would smack him in the face. 
Look what he did to my hair. Awful, and I hate it. Luckily, I haven't got lipstick on, otherwise my hair would be stuck with the lipstick. Gosh. <laughs> Hello guys, so I'm back home and I just want to let you know that this is the very last day of Misfit Challenge. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a live video with the girls, we're gonna have a chat how it all went, I'll ask how are they glad about their results because I've asked for them to write a feedback, a review about this challenge already and I was pretty happy of what I saw. I saw the pictures of how girls have lost some weight and my mom have lost a lot of weight but my weight hmm so I would say I was trying to keep the balance I wasn't good a hundred percent but then 85% I was good <laughs> like I was trying to uh, be on the diet for 85% let's say I had some days off or like I had some days where I ate a little bit more calories than I should but I never had a cheat cheat day my results since the beginning of the challenge uh, from the arm, I've lost one centimeter. I've lost um, two uh, centimeters from my belly. I've lo I've gained actually two centimeters on my glutes, uh, which was the achievement because this is what I was aiming for. And I have lost also one centimeter from my tights. I'll continue of eating 1,800 calories for another two months. Obviously on the weekends my calories might gonna get a bit higher, um, but I'm not gonna be as strict as I'm not in the competition prep or anything else. I don't wanna force myself, like I said, I had some issues with my period, so I definitely need some unsaturated like healthy fats. I need all the nutrition, like all the macros and all the nutrients to make sure that my hormones are going to be like all okay, all fine and am I gonna get my period back naturally? So this is what I'm aiming for. I'm not gonna push myself hard but anyway, so just to summarize, I'm so proud of the girls that have attended the challenge and I am definitely in the near future going to prep another challenge. Today I had a lovely interview with the Kvila and Skirmantos. They were such a sweet and charming and lovely and nice people. If you're on the right path, you're meeting the right people, you're doing the things you love and you just make yourself happy. Happiness, this is all that matters and I'm always saying that but that's true. Have this in your mind, have this in your head. Since the minute you wake up until the minute you go to sleep, always think about the things that makes you truly happy. Dream it, believe it, achieve it. The next video is going to be in Lithuanian language, so sorry for my English su subscribers, but I'm going to treat my Lithuanian subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, guys. I'm going downstairs to eat my probably BCIA jelly because my mom made some. Oh, anyways, another thing. Sorry, I haven't finished the video yet. I'll show you one more thing. A few days ago in Holland and Barrett's I bought this toothpaste which is with a charcoal and apparently this is the Lithuanian brand it's called Ecodenta so this is it and I've got it in British Holland and Barrett shop so it says it's with black charcoal and tiavigo and in Lithuanian it says you are double na moi dan tu pasta so you are dying limit ir Tiavigo. I haven't tried it yet, but obviously it should be black. Well, it's closed now. Because it's with charcoal, and I've heard that whenever you're having your teeth brushed with a charcoal paste or with the actual charcoal, it can get whiter. So, I'm excited to try this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, please let me know why. And if the reason is that I'm speaking in English instead of Lithuanian, that's not the case. This is my decision guys. I've decided that I want to start making English videos. I wanted to reach more people worldwide. Thank you so much for my Lithuanian subscribers and followers who are watching the whole video until this very moment because that means you still enjoy it even though it's in English, not in Lithuanian language but like I said, the next videos are going to be Lithuanian because I'm gonna be in Lithuania and I'm so 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 very excited for that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!